using pivot tables with Microsoft Excel. Here we have a table of data about college freshmen. We have their name, their high school GPA, their high school SAT score, their gender, whether or not they pledged in their freshman year, and whether or not they lived on campus, and finally their GPA at the end of the year. Let's use pivot tables to analyze this data. So we go data, pivot tables, and let's get rid of their default. So we want to pick the name of the people, so we're, we're going to do some counts, and let's take a look at pledging. Eleven of them pledged, four of them didn't. Okay, let's take a look at living on campus. There's about an even split between those who did and did not live on campus. And let's take a look at their GPA. There's a wide range of GPAs. Now, let's take a look at the GPA breakdown by gender. Um, there doesn't seem to be a rule about who has the high GPAs, but the low GPAs seem to be held by the male students. Let's take a look at the GPAs by um, whether or not you live on campus. Okay, there's a mixture at the bottom, but pretty much everyone at the top did not live on campus. All right, let's take a look at the GPAs by whether or not somebody pledged. Now we're seeing the opposite. There's kind of a mixture at the top, but pledging, all the people at the bottom pledged. So pledging seemed to have a negative effect on their GPAs. And um, finally, let's take a look at GPA versus SAT score. So freshman GPA versus their high school SAT score. And while our lowest freshman GPA is held by the person with our lowest um, SAT score, we have some people with relatively high um, SAT scores that got a low grade in their freshman year. And we have at least one or two people with relatively low SAT scores that got relatively high GPAs their freshman year. So the, uh, the analysis is kind of mixed on that.